Hey guys, can't even tell you what day this is. Totally lost track. I've been here for a week and a half now and the whole time has been pretty chaotic, pretty stressful and high speed working on Nigel's ute to get it finished for the dyno. Last night after the dyno session and after our live webinar, uh, we celebrated that with a few drinks, so started a little bit later this morning. Uh, Nigel spent a bit of time on the phone tracking down an alternator, he had to pop into Melbourne to grab that. So we finished up a bit of work back here waiting for Nigel and then we headed back around to the dyno. Nigel fitted up the new alternator and we tested it out. Happy to report that it worked perfectly, so we're really happy there. One thing we did find though, just due to the pulley sizes that Nigel's used, um, at idle the alternator's not spinning fast enough and that meant it wasn't actually charging properly until it got up to about 3,500 RPM. So that's a pretty minor detail, that's something Nigel will be able to fix once we leave. Um, on a build of this size, of this magnitude, where basically every part of it has been handmade from scratch, having only one problem, which was the alternator, that's pretty surprising and it's really a credit to Nigel's work. He's done an amazing job and um, I really do congratulate him on that. So tomorrow we've got just a few little loose ends to finish off and basically my job here is done. So um, we'll come back tomorrow and, and give you a, a final update. Um, day nine? Yeah, day nine. Pretty sure it's day nine. Um, oh, I tell you what, it's starting to take its toll. I look pretty tired in the first first few days, but um, yeah, I'm getting pretty run down now. We've, um, we just haven't stopped on this. It's sort of... You know, when we were planning Andre and Ben's trip here, we were thinking, oh yeah, get the wiring done a couple of days, spend a day on the, the dyno, have a couple of days off, maybe see some sights, but we've seen nothing but basically this thing behind us. Um, this morning, yeah, my life was pretty hectic. I wanted to get on top of this alternator issue. Uh, we pulled it off last night. I wasn't 100% sure whether the actual alternator was faulty or there was something else. Um, so I took it to a local auto electrician, really nice bloke. Um, he tested it and basically said straight away it was stuffed. So I uh, had no other option but to try and chase up another one. Uh, that was going to be a little bit difficult because um, it's a mini Denso alternator and they're not very common. So the closest one I could find was in Melbourne. Um, I had no other option but just to race up and get it. So three hour round trip to Melbourne and back, um, picked these guys up. We went back to the dyno where the, the ute was still pretty much strapped down, ready to go. Uh, jacked it up, fitted the, um, the new alternator and basically just went straight on, which was good. Um, yeah, just plugged the wires in. Andre uh, checked it all over. We started it up. Um, didn't seem to be charging too much until later in the rev range, say about three and a half. So um, I think that's a speed issue. Well, we know it's a speed issue, so I'm gonna have to machine up a, um, a smaller pulley for that. And yeah, that can be done later on down the track. So we sort of had to stuff around a bit with putting a battery charger on here and there just for when it was idling. Um, but really, really stoked on today because like it's, it's back here, uh, it's running, it's making good power. I even had a, a bit of a go in the hot seat actually doing power runs today. I'll tell you what, that's something it's going to take a while to, um, to get used to. You know, you're just sitting in there, basically press a button, hold the thing flat, and, um, and yeah, it's pretty nerve-wracking. Um, but it was good fun and it was a real experience for me. Um, I'm really stoked with how everything's gone. The wiring's perfect, everything's perfect. Um, the tune is spot on, it's making good power. Um, I'm basically now in that stage where the wiring's done, um, the engine's done, everything's holding together, it's making good power. So I've got to turn my attention now and get this ready to drive. So yeah, hopefully we'll have a bit of a sleep in tomorrow and, um, and yeah, it's all pretty much hopefully a bit cruisier from here on in. Oh, and one more thing, we weighed it today. Um, a few of you have been interested in knowing what the final weight of this is. Although we don't have the outer skin of the cab on and the tail section and the front guards and bumper, 
Um, it ended up coming in at 875 kilos with um, all fluids and yeah, I'm really, really happy with that figure. Um, I never built it to be lightweight. I never really built it to be, I don't know, I just had no idea what it was gonna weigh. Um, so I was really hoping for sub thousand kilo. That's with all the body work on it and me inside it. And yeah, it's looking like that's quite achievable. So yeah, super happy with that. And um, 280 kilowatts and sub thousand kilo car should be quite fun.